Good evening and welcome to Let's Chat About the Oils. This is Sue Lawton from sunny New Jersey. And Deb, are you there? I am here. Hi, everyone. I'm glad you're here because we're going to talk about some oils tonight. Yay. Yay. One yay. of them is going to be vetiver. Mm -hmm. But we brought some of Vetiver's friends. Good. So we just want to explain to people right from the beginning that none of this information has been evaluated by the FDA. The products and methods recommended are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or illness, nor is it intended to replace proper medical care. Kindly understand essential oils work to help the body into balance, thus helping the body's natural defenses to restore homeostasis. Essential oils are not used to treat medical problems. But let's talk about the different ways we can use really good essential oils. Do you ever use a diffuser, Miss Deb? Uh, I'm looking at mine right now. Yes, I love it. I, I love it. I have one plugged into my laptop. I have one in my living room. I mean, I just love them. It's just a great way to get it out there. You're breathing it in consistently. It's an amazing tool in sharing oils. Right. I recommend diffusing oils, uh, whether you have a professional office or you have a home. If you have a diffuser and whether you're using citrus oils or more focused on eliminating unfriendlies that could have come in with you, if you turn your diffuser on for 10 to 15 minutes every couple hours when people are home, it's plenty to keep things clean and fresh. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to applying oils, I love applying to the feet. Why do we use the feet? Because it's a quick, quick absorption of all the oils. They really do absorb quickly, and the oils know where they need to go. Okay, so, where else can we apply oils? Where else? Yes. Anywhere we want. Okay. No, but really, seriously. Arms, legs, behind our neck, behind our ears. I mean, we wouldn't want to put them in our eye. We get them there by accident sometimes, but um, or any other um, orifices like that. But no, I mean, you can really rub them um, anywhere, directly on the pain or the hurt or um, through your feet or your hands. And it doesn't take much of really good oils, like the kind we're talking about. A little bit goes a really long way. Yeah, you don't you don't have to slather it on like you did baby oil years ago when you were you know sunning yourself. No, uh, no this is just a little bit. You mean when we were getting fried to a crisp? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't want to get carried away because the oils like your body, and it only takes a little bit to support your body's <laughs> natural functions internally. There's lots of ways to use them internally. You sure. can prepare double aught two capsules. You can put some combinations of oils in with um, a diluting agent like fractionated coconut oil and mm -hmm. pop them just before you eat. Mm -hmm. There are some wonderful already prepared capsules you can purchase, such as a digestive product or a germ fighting products. Yes. Or you can make suppositories at home. That's another way to motivate the oils to work well with your body. Absolutely. And one of the things I like to remind people of is we want to drink water. Water consumption increases the body's ability to carry away the debris that the teeny tiny little molecules are going to be able to facilitate. They're going to motivate debris to leave your cell receptor sites, the insides of your walls of your veins and arteries, 
the little molecules are very clever. They work best when well watered. Now, there's a new thing we want to talk about relative to oils and how by accident you can limit how well they work. I saw this cartoon today and it made a lot of sense. Most new arrivals seem incapable of conversation. They just stare at their hands in despair. Deb, what are they doing? They look very perplexed. They don't look they don't look like they know what they're doing. But what they are they confused. missing? They're missing they're missing devices. Yes. Electronic look at their hands are molded. Yes. Wow. Hmm. Insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. When we work with oils, we have to expect new results. So increasing our water is one of the changes that will enhance what you expect to happen. If you have TVs in your bedroom, get them out of the bedroom. Laptops, cell phones, these aren't good to sleep in the same room with. Or unplug everything. That. No, because even when they're off, they're not really off. Nope, you can hear that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not good for you. And I have to tell you how many of my students go to sleep with their Game Boys or their, you know, their video game controllers in their hands. That's a really scary thing. Or some of them tell me how when they wake up in the middle of the night, they're back playing their games. So those should be out of the bedrooms as, as well. Right, and if you have a bad attitude, I just want you to know oils can help you. But if you have a bad attitude and you're applying wild orange to your arms and you're saying, I really hate driving in this traffic and I really think everybody's a stupid driver and I have a really bad attitude, the oil is fine, but it's not going to save you <laughs> from <laughs> bad things finding you. Because if you have a bad attitude, you can literally block love, blessings, and destiny from finding you. Don't be the reason you don't succeed. Change your attitude. Then apply the oils, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's Makes talk sense. about our friend, Douglas Fur. Do you like yes, that? Yes, he's very tall. <laughs> Do you like it? Love Douglas Fur. Love the new smell. Reminds me of Christmas, first of all. So what don't you enjoy about that? But the just the feeling of the oil once it touches your skin. It's just so soothing and it's comforting. It's a big awe moment for me when I use it. What are some of the reasons you uh, would use it, Dr. Sue? Um, <clears throat> I love it. For lots of reasons. I've been using Douglas fir for a long time. Um, it's excellent when you think of what's all over our skin. Bacteria. Bacteria. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, we have our own natural bacteria. It's naturally occurring inside and outside our body. Plus, we run into new bacteria. If we go by, if we're going by the fish counter or in a store and we smell that funny fishy smell, we just picked yeah. up some new bacteria. If you are out in a crowd of some kind, you just picked up some more bacteria. Well, when I want to soothe my skin and make sure only friendly bacteria is there, this is one of our choices. Mm -hmm. and, and if you ever stop to think about all the hidden bacteria, they said, you know, the I was just reading an article, the places where the bacteria grows the most is in a restroom on the soap dispensers. You know, those that aren't like auto, auto you know, automated. Oh, so, really? Yeah, this should be everybody's friend to kind of carry around with them. Yes, this or any oil. I like just any oil in my bag. Mm -hmm. um, it's also good for <clears throat> organized, unpleasant cells get their eviction notice. Woohoo! Lung bag surfaces bag. get restored when you inhale. Mm -hmm. Whether you diffuse this or you put some on your hands, rub your hands together and inhale it, everything inside your lung goes, woohoo! I like this. Absolutely. It allows your, um, your brain to feel Absolutely. more enriched, your focus is enhanced, and 
you your overall outlook generally brightens like you recognize it as being a sunny happy day yes and it also encourages your tenacity when you are making a change in your life and you're changing your habits to be very mm -hmm. concerned about stick to and not get discouraged and to stay with it Douglas mm -hmm. Fir is very supportive that way and we all know you have the ability to rewire your brain to be happy by simply recalling three things you're grateful for every day for 21 days in a row. Mm -hmm. You want to change a pattern. You want to enhance a positive framework. If you do it consistently for 21 days, it's much easier to be positive. It's much easier to expect positive possibilities mm -hmm. gratitude is one of the ways absolutely we're back to Douglas fur people Thanks, use Debbie. it for creative inspiration mm -hmm. it's excellent to remind you of your personal successes so it's good for self-esteem it's very good for personal acceptance because see, if you like you and you're not concerned about other people or pleasing other people, you're more peaceful. Right. And here's some of the oils that when you mix Douglas fir with frankincense, oh my gosh, it is such an amazing blend. Whether you diffuse it or you wear it or you apply it, it really is amazing. Plus it gives you really good energy. Right. A, a friend of mine, um, you actually uses uh, Douglas fir um, for meditation and during yoga routines, and it's really good at um, helping you reach inside yourself to feel, you know, to be aware of what you're feeling. So um, it's wonderful for that as well. Good. No, and it mixes well with the citruses and myrrh, geranium, marjoram, vetiver. Douglas Fir is a, a pretty happy neighbor. He likes mixing with other people and he enhances their positive intentions. Absolutely. Now let's talk about one of our friends, Ginger. Love Ginger. Yes, I, I love it. When winding roads make your stomach twist and turn. Hmm. Ginger can be your pal. That's why we like it on the bones behind your ears and we like it on your wrists. If you're feeling a little woozy and you'll notice this is pictures of the root the ginger root mm -hmm. and there's many many research papers published on the benefits of ginger and ginger root mm -hmm. and here's and some of them listed right we talked about the woozy feeling in the tummy Right. Excellent for many forms of digestion, heartburn relief, prevention of diabetic neuropathy, migraine relief, menstrual cramps, cold and flu prevention. It breaks Do you up. You know, my medical doctor actually believes in this. And like, if you go to her and you have some sort of cold or or clogginess, she'll tell you to make you know get your ginger and make a tea. And uh, sure. it's amazing. I'm just so happy to, to hear that the medical profession is now recognizing the benefits of some of these things. Oh, yeah. The ginger root tea is amazing. Mm -hmm. And just said. as another yeah. review. Right. Yeah, a lot of those stomach achiness things are there. And there's our little sinus stuff as well. So, so helpful in, in thinning that out, isn't it? Oh, it really is. And here's a couple of blends that I found that I thought you might find interesting. If you're dispirited and disheartened, blend two drops of ginger and three drops of rosemary. Mm -hmm. If you use after lunch and dinner, gently blend and apply to the bones behind the ears, the palms of the hands rubbed together. Put it in an inhaler and use often to keep your spirits up, especially in rainy, yucky weather. Ginger can really make you feel nice and warm inside. And of course, it blends well with all the citruses. Also, geranium, lang lang, rose, frankincense, sandalwood, patchouli, fennel, bergamot, 
Roman chamomile, coriander, white fur, and lavender. When you're blending oils, remember you always start with a little teeny container and you use minimum amounts and see if you like the combinations. Because if you start with a big bottle, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you use, oh, let's start with 10 drops of ginger. Oh, let's <laughs> add some more stuff. It may be really hard for you to find a fragrance you really like or a nice tool. You may be overwhelmed with what you've done. So please start little. You know, just use little amounts until you find something you like, and then you can make big amounts in a big container. Yeah, remember that ginger has that little bit of spice to it okay. and a little bit of heat and warmth. Yeah, it is. It has a nice warming to it. Mm -hmm. It's um, one of the ones we're happy to use with. Um, it It's really a good friend of the pancreas. It really is very nice to the pancreas, too, besides your entire digestive system. Now we have our friend Marjoram. Marjoram. I love its other name, to be honest with you. Winter Sweet did, or Joy yeah, of the Mountains. Nice. Yes. Yes. And, and I didn't realize it was one of the most common herbs found in kitchens all around the world. I mean, I know it's in a lot of, um, you know, mixed uh, seasonings, but I didn't realize that it was so such a popular and it's valued for its calming properties. It is. Yeah. And it can be applied topically to soothe tired, stressed muscles or to support the respiratory or nervous system. The other part is that it works really, really well on connective tissue disorders. That's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. I, I seem to see the general theme, how a lot of these have such similar uses. You like that? Yeah, very nice. So what are the herb of happiness? It'll work, right? Yes. Marjoram, the herb of happiness. I like this. Yes. It doesn't, it doesn't irritate? No. No. Okay. Read some of our special things. I love them, by the way. Yeah. It's a non-irritant. It's non-toxic. Pain diminished. Bacteria sorter. It's a muscle calmer. I use it for that. I can attest to that. It's amazing. Mild extra water go. A mucus evacuator. A vasodilator. A muscle smoother. It's warming, and it's a de-stressor. Yes. Wow. Yeah, and it's a pain diminisher. Don't forget that. Yeah, I really like that pain diminisher one. Yeah, and it's a bacteria sorter. It kind of sorts between what's good for you and what's less than good for you and helps it move on out. So those meanies will go away? They go away. Yay. Remember, drink your water. Yeah. It's been known and reported to have some influence when used on low back consistently toward encouraging the housing of a male child. Oh. The beginning, as we say. Interesting. Yes. Oh. Yes. Isn't it, um, I also thought I heard that it's really good for the organs an organ that is on the right side of your body to help with getting rid of all the sticky icky stuff that we don't want inside of us, right? Yes, and again, you got to drink lots of water. Right. And here's some nice recommendations for you. A happy bath blend. Bergamot, three drops. Marjoram, two drops. Wild orange, two. Oregano, one drop. Now, what do we do with baths, though? Okay. You need to have some Epsom salts. Right on. And put the Epsom salts in the bottom of your tub, and then you add your oils to the Epsom salts before you add your warm water, uh, your water, um, and then it will all mix really nicely throughout. Yes. It's amazing. We have a precaution, though, for marjoram. Why? 
Well, just because sometimes you have to list a precaution. Okay. It gives you greater control right. over sexual desire, but long-term use can permanently numb erotic sensations and actually oh, okay. diminish sexual drive and decrease sexual function. Daily okay. for weeks on end is too much. Rotate with other oils. So like if you had a torn muscle and you were using marjoram, then you would like to vary that with other kinds of muscle helper delpers. Okay. Uh, it can also cause drowsiness. Like I use it near bedtime. Mm -hmm. and so you should avoid driving or operating heavy machinery when using it a lot. So like if that okay. was your oil of choice, like after mm -hmm. exercise, then you may want to rotate it like with maybe lemongrass for those nice calves. Well, because doesn't it kind of tell your brain to, to take a little rest? Like to, it's nap time, right? Yes. Yeah, so you want to you wanna protect yourself from that. I like the nighttime bath for easing aggression one, though. Yes. Yeah, the four drops of marjoram, the four Roman chamomile, the lang lang, two drops, and patchouli, one drop. Very nice. Again, we're going to use that with the Epsom salts. Mm-hmm. Whenever we have bath, think Epsom salts. And yeah. if you want to diffuse the marjoram, it promotes peace and restful sleep. And because just inhaling the aroma is enough to sedate the brain. Right. And so if someone didn't want to do the bathtub, right, could we do just our little, you know, you always say do the little dollar dishpan things? Oh, soak your feet. Yeah, right. Can we just do that as well? Sure. Okay. Yes. Remember when you're going to do the foot soak, though, here's the trigger. Put the Epsom salts in the bottom of the dishpan, add the oils, mm -hmm. then the hot water, then you sit down. You soak your feet for like 7 to 10 minutes, depending on how warm it is, but don't add additional hot water. Just mm -hmm. stay with what you have because you've opened pores, you've let out junk, okay? Mm-hmm. And you don't want to add hot water to open the pores to let junk back in. Get it? Exactly. Thank you. And diffuser blend for calming. Clary sage, lavender, lang lang, marjoram. Gently mix and add four to six drops to your lotus diffuser and inhale. Again, when you make up these diffuser blends, remember it doesn't take much whatever kind of diffuser you have. Mm -hmm. I still love my original Lotus. I still have my original Lotus. I do too. But we have a lot of other wonderful diffusers. And um, I don't know where I ran into this, someone being wretched and full of remorse. You need to be relieved of feeling wretched. You need to be able to lift your head and see the light. If you use marjoram 2, white fur 3, cypress 1, okay, mm -hmm. it works. Okay. You just wretched have to expect to feel a change. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, you. I welcome you to dilute these things. If you're going to approach people who are wretched, <laughs> you may want to dilute them, you know, initially. Let's go gentle on people who are feeling that bad, okay? I kind of had that thought in my head as you were mentioning it. Like, do I really want to, like, go face-to-face -face with a wretched person? <laughs> well, so, okay. sometimes it's family members and we don't have a choice, okay? <laughs> well, that is true, yes. Yep, that's true. Okay, marjoram will gently support decisions to make changes in your life. Whoops, sorry. Ease emotional craving and promote the capacity for inner self-nurturing. In its ancient role as a funeral herb, it can help us to accept any deep loss, especially when combined with oils like cypress, frankincense, and white fur. As an herb of love, it nourishes the place from where neediness springs, helping to restore our power to give. 
It minimizes emotional upsets, making it useful for relieving anxiety, aggression, anger, emotional exhaustion, nervousness, and stress. Because of its balancing and regulating actions, it can ease obsessive behavior and negative thoughts. Wow. It promotes the ability to love yourself easier. I mean, it's big on less criticism. We've talked about this before. Criticism doesn't help anything, okay? Evaluation that's balanced can be helpful. You could say, I did this part well, I did this part well, and now I see this other part that I could improve. Mm -hmm. That's balance, saying the good part and the part that would need some help. Marjorie, what helps you get there? Right. Would this be useful for someone that has had a hard time getting over a loss? And I don't mean like a month or two months or six months. I mean someone that's really carried a grief for an exceptional period of time. Yes, because it's gentle. Okay. It's firm, but gentle. I know that sounds funny, but it is very clear in its job for the central nervous system. Mm -hmm. So it reduces that rub very gradually for people. Good, good. Our friend Vetiver. I love Vetiver. I remember when it first came out to this group, people were going, whoa, it smells terrible. Smells like dirt or something bad. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, people have gotten over it. People have come to understand what a gift this is. Internally, just as a note so I don't forget later, one of the most effective, sometimes when you've had surgery or sometimes when you've had chronic long-term pain, you know, P-A-N-E, that kind of pain, Right. If you combine, let's say, five drops of vetiver with three drops of something called cystus in a capsule and you would ingest it, Mm -hmm. it fills that gap. It fills that gap between the commercial P-A-N-E medication and where your body is screaming. Does that make sense? Right, so we're talking about like chronic pain conditions. Yeah, and we're talking post something occurred, something just okay. happened. So, and it's very relaxing, and mm-hmm. it keeps you relaxed, and at the same time, you can breathe. Oxygen is really important in managing pain, but it's mm-hmm. really, really good. Dr. Sue, well, doesn't that also system. help? Wait, doesn't that also help with our white blood cells too? Yes. Cystus is a different oil than you're used to. Cystus is what's called Rose of Sharon. Yes. Okay. It's mm-hmm. not from the same company. But if you get your hands on it, it's an amazing combination. And for those of us that want to take it to a good night's sleep, what are we going to do? A little lavender with a little vetiver. <laughs> okay. And you know what? I love the smell of the two of them together. Yes. Don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, we're all kind of familiar with the peaceful child, right? Yes. Yes. The blend. Yes. Dr. Hill gave out this blend a while ago. Mm-hmm. You'll notice the big quantities. <laughs> Very large quantities. Right. And so parents can make it up ahead of time and have it ready. Come here, honey. I want to massage your feet. Mm-hmm. And that combines our friends. 85 drops of vetiver, 30 drops of Lang Lang, 20 drops frankincense, 15 drops clary sage, 10 drops marjoram, in 35 drops of coconut oil. Okay. But you know what I just realized? They're all divisible by five, so if you really didn't want to make that large amount, you can work it out. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Then 
okay? Yeah, for the little baby feet. That's right. Well, we use this with some of my crabby seniors, too. <gasps> no. Yes. <laughs> yes. I might have one or two that we can use that on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it works out really good. Great. Now, let's talk some more about vetiver. Okay. It's a non-toxic, non-irritant. Yeah. Well, it doesn't irritate us. It's no. in, and maybe it's going to help our own irritation. That's what I kind of like about that one. Yes. What else does it do? Anti-bad feelings about self? Yes. Mm. Anti-sharing bugs. Anti-RA. Yes. Anti-muscle anti -muscle dancing. dancing. You know how sometimes for no reason your muscles will just start dancing? Yeah, they kind of bounce back and forth a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You could take vetiver by itself, or you could mix it with a little bit of lemongrass, or a little bit of just plain lemon. And it has just this great effect with helping it go into soothing rhythm. Cool. It really does enhance your ability to rest while you're sleeping. If you've been struggling with things and you wake up and say, wow, I am not rested even after all that time of being asleep, this helps you get to that next level. Great. For, for people who've lost their appetite, vetiver can provide a gentle motivation. Are we talking children or seniors that sometimes lose appetite? Who are we talking about? People who or have anyone. experienced um, a series of treatments to help organized unfriendlies leave. Oh, uh, okay. They often lose their motivation to consume food. This is one of the gentle ways when they're recovering. Mm hmm Okay. It works Great. out really well. Super. It's excellent for immune happy parties. It has creates what we call connective tissue euphoria. It balances <laughs> that person who is the perfectionist. I see that. And when people are having trouble between doses of commercial pain medication, Mm -hmm. Using a little bit of this, vetiver can help you be calm a little longer. Good. So what is not to love with this, this oil? My gosh. Amazing. Yes. And it's a tummy soother. Soothe that tummy. Yay, tummy soother. Ooh, here's some combinations. Let's tell them about the combinations, Miss Deb. Sure. To relieve obsessive overthinking. Gee, I don't know anybody that does that. <laughs> well, I've, I've encountered some people in this last year, Deb. Maybe we didn't hear about it before. But the warriors and the people who, like, can't get happy because they're busy thinking, oh, this could happen. No, wait, that could happen. I know. Instead of just letting it happen. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all actually know people like that. So we might suggest to them vetiver, sandalwood applied to the back of the neck and on the bones behind the ears, or vetiver, frankincense, and basil. Yes, that's vetiver. another good combination yeah. to free up your creativity so you can take a breath between thinking. Now, this next one, vetiver, peppermint, frankincense, to relieve absent-mindedness. Mm -hmm. So when I try to dial the phone, <laughs> or I look for the phone, and, and or, yeah, and I had the TV remote in my hand, <laughs> or when you go to the refrigerator and forget what you went there for, those things. <laughs> yes, this could be helpful. Okay, yeah, so let everybody move the roller bottle right now. Yeah. Put it oh, back yes. on the neck. <laughs> yes. Uh, two to five times a day. I love it. Great clarity. Yes. Perfect. And for oh, everybody with their 
Monthly cycle disturbances, use those ankle bones every morning, vetiver, clary sage, and uranium. Yes. Cool. <gasps> Scary movie you... calming. Mm. And there, there have been a few out recently, so this might be a good thing. Yes, it's also good for little kids going to movies because even though they're rated G, they're little kids, they're not used yes. to the big screen, the big noises. It's always good to, when you have little kids going to movies, to put something on the bottom of their feet before you put on their socks and shoes, just so the impact is reduced. That makes a lot of sense, because truthfully, they are very loud and bigger than life. So yeah, I wouldn't have thought about that. That's a great suggestion, Dr. Sue. So that ever patchouli, wild orange, and lang lang. Satisfying anniversary rest? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Vetiver, yeah. lang marjoram. Well, sometimes that has to do with grieving. Yes. Sometimes people on the anniversary of something occurring that was sad, they feel they need mm -hmm. to revisit all of the sadness. Well, this yes. helps the sadness go into its proper place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we know friends like that, that they always put the ad in the paper every anniversary and things like that. You're right. Yeah, so that would be helpful. Yeah. yeah. Relief of depressive self-neglect. Sometimes people get depressed and they start neglecting themselves. They don't shower. They mm -hmm. don't exercise. They eat all the wrong things. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. So tell them what we recommend. So with that, we would do the vetiver, cardamom, and rose to help. That that would be great. Yeah. A lot of older people fall into that routine where they just get it, it be, and it becomes such a pattern. So that would be great to try to break that. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. We just add a question. Because vetiver is so important, especially with special um, focused, challenged children, we often have recommended blends to do with vetiver applied to the backs of the knees or to the heels of the feet before they go to school because mm -hmm. it slows things down. The fragrance can be troublesome, however. So my experience has been that if I combine vetiver with geranium and lemon, and you'll have to experiment with a potion, portions it mm. has a lifting effect if the child can tolerate peppermint vetiver with peppermint mm -hmm. the, the minty aspect can be helpful or spearmint but you have to kind of experiment with it because i do know that sometimes um, especially if people are toxic or dehydrated themselves they can sometimes have an adverse response to the fragrance of vetiver. Mm -hmm. So do your experimenting with other things that are compatible. Um, with vetiver, I always love the citruses, and I love geranium and the mints, if you go with the spearmint, the peppermint, um, the Douglas fir. We've been doing experiments recently with focus using vetiver and Douglas fir and mm -hmm. adding lemon. And it, it, you just have to play with it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Sue, you mentioned for school, so for children, if they didn't want to wear it, would this work in one of our party in a tube things? Or um, could they put it, you know, in the cotton ball in the Ziploc bag? How would you suggest that gets used? Well, we could, put it in the, we could put it in the inhaler. We sure could. Mm -hmm. But I would definitely trim it back with marjoram or okay. Douglas fir. Because okay. when they would be, you know, having it out and open at school, if they're old enough to know when to use it, mm -hmm. it can be very challenging. Okay. Feel good combos that work well with affirmations and intentions. Well, you know, we've been talking about the importance of positive affirmations and good intentions and 
and being showing our gratitude for when they come through. So this might really be he be helpful. I like the one that you say, heck of a motivator. Yeah, so this Douglas was put fir. together when we were researching three drops of Douglas fir, four vetiver, three marjoram, two ginger. Woohoo! Yes. Nice. Yes, that will keep you motivated. You declare your intention and you are off and running. It's like a jetpack. Ooh, and spice up your romance. Do -do 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 -do. Yes. Three ginger and ginger. fennel. Woohoo! Yes. yes, with fennel and marjoram. That will okay, that help could be, you remember that could be why a Valentine's Day special. <laughs> yes. Our Valentine's Day special, right? That's it. That's it. Yes. Yep. And the uh, frankincense, Douglas fir, and ginger is also a good motivator for creativity. Nice. So we'll have to do that before we go to our next paint class. Yes. <laughs> our next paint <laughs> class. I like that. <laughs> okay. Hey, that was fun. You have to admit it. Anybody that hasn't tried it, you have to try it once. <laughs> right. The paint class. Right. Things yes. that you can't buy. Manners, mm -hmm. morals, respect, character, common sense, trust, patience, class, integrity, and love. We always ask yep. people to be grateful for the things money can't buy so you have more of these enter your life and more awareness of your own virtues in these areas. It is so important that you understand you were born with virtues, not criticism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Debbie and I both have friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Yes. <laughs> On the phone. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call you back. I can't remember where I left my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Haven't we all been getting ready to go out of the house and we're on the phone? We're on our cell phone. We've yep. got everything ready. And we're wandering from room to room talking to a friend saying, Do you, have you seen my phone? <laughs> Yeah. Or the car keys are in your hand and you're like, I can't find my keys, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, this will help you. Whether you're pregnant or not, it really helps. I was just going to say, we don't need to be pregnant, right? Right. Okay. Wood, frankincense, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver. Apply it to the back of your neck. Good. And what did one of your friends, where did she find her phone? In the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, she was uh, busy, crying baby, trying to feed it. She had been on the phone, and she, I think, went to put the bottle away, but put the phone in the refrigerator <laughs> instead. And thankfully, it started ringing, and that's how she was able to find it. Well, that's great. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. But it, you know what? It just shows us we're, we're all human. <laughs> right. Okay, if today you're the caterpillar, you're going through the phase. Remember, tomorrow you will be the butterfly springing forward. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. You never know mm -hmm. what tomorrow could bring. And if you expect amazing things to happen, amazing things happen all That's the time. True. That's very true. Now, we're going to go through lots of oils. Uh, people write me questions about oils all the time. It's like, they must look in their kit one day and go like, gee, I wonder what this is for. And they'll write to me and say, um, can I use white fur for this? And I'll go, well, why don't we do a little class and talk about these things, okay? Uh -huh. Our next one will be Arborvitae, white fur, and geranium. Excellent. We'd like to thank you for joining us. These will be recorded, and they will be posted inappropriate places and again we work very hard to be compliant but occasionally things sneak out so we ask you to be very respectful about who you share these things with and okay. we'd like to thank you thank yes. you miss deb for joining us thank you thanks for having me it was wonderful talking to you I, and i Learned so much. I'm thrilled. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for, for listening tonight. Yes, we are grateful you guys were there. And um, keep sharing. Use your oils. Drink your water. Everything is good. Okay. Good night, everyone.